at 83, our next guest hasn't let her age stop her. She's a breast cancer survivor, teacher, therapist, and author of a new book titled How to Live from Your Heart, Deepen Relationships, Develop Creativity, and Discover Inner Wisdom. She conducts several retreats and workshops a year in Montreal and in the Berkshires. And this year at the Montreal retreat, there were people attending from all over the states, Canada, and even England. Besides publishing a book and leading seminars, she works as a psychotherapist, artist, and president of Higher Self Yoga, for which she has led retreats and classes for more than 20 years. She's also co-founder of the Center for Peace Through Culture. We now welcome the multi-talented and 83-year young Nanette Hucknall to welcome to Urban Update, Nanette. Thank Thanks you. so much for Thank coming you so in. Much. Now, uh, first of all, I guess how are you feeling? You look fabulous. I feel great. <laughs> okay, good. I see uh, you're really into a lot of things here. Uh, how do you describe to people what it is that you do, and uh, what do you think your mission in life has been? Well, I think I, I do a lot. I mainly do writing now, and I also do the workshops like you mentioned. And I, and I teach, I teach a weekly class. I also teach uh, the, the, the retreats that you talked about. Um, but I think my main love right now is, is the writing. I'm doing more writing. I've written about nine books now. And I'm also doing some painting, going back to doing some painting, because I started off as a painter or artist. Now, um, you had a life-changing experience when you were only 52, I understand. You were given a 40% chance to live after being diagnosed with breast cancer. Talk to me about that, how that impacted you. Well, actually, I, 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 when I look back on it, I think it was a very important thing that happened to me because it made me look at my life. I was doing a lot of work. I was had a full-time job. I also was, the, at the time, president of the higher, of, uh, Center for Peace Through Culture, and I was doing a lot of that work. And I started realizing that I would, if I was going to live a year or two, what do I need to do? So that's when I decided, number one, to move up to the Berkshires, which is beautiful. Uh, to start really doing my writing, and that's why I started doing all the writing, and going back to doing some painting and also, you know, working full time as a therapist. So it changed my whole life in terms of, of making me look at what I really wanted to accomplish. And if I hadn't done, gotten cancer, I'd still probably be working in New York City as an art director, mm -hmm. which is what I was doing at the time. What about, tell me a little bit about your book, I guess, How to Live from Your Heart, uh, some of the secrets that uh, you want to share with everyone. Well, first of all, the heart that I'm talking about is not your physical heart. It's right here in the center of your chest. And it's the part in you that feels, obviously feels love. When you love someone, you feel that right here. It's the part of you that feels all emotions, including anger. If you're angry at somebody, you're going to have constrictions there. You're going to feel that kind of a, something hitting your heart. But the heart is so much more than just love. And it's, it's, got, it's a wonderful instrument that people don't use. So my book basically is about starting to use your heart in everything you do in your life. Uh, you know, in this Western society we have, it's all mind. And I'm, I'm really concerned about kids because all they do is computers, the iPhones, texting. They don't really use the creativity that their heart has. They don't, they don't teach this in schools. They don't teach how to be more creative and ins inspired. So I really go into detail as how to start to open up that instrument that you don't use. That's absolutely fascinating. Who is the book for, for anyone of any age? Any age, absolutely. I would say any age, all the way up <laughs> to my age. All right. I it's guess never too late to start to use your heart. Okay, and we'll have to leave it right there. Uh, Nanette Hall is the author, and the book is How to Live from Your Heart. Thank you for coming in, and uh, you know, good luck with your seminars, and uh, you know, just helping the rest of us uh, reach the depths that you have. Well, thank you. Thank oh, you so much for okay, having Nanette, me. Okay, thanks. Well, that's it for this edition of Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. For all of us here at Urban Update, have a great Sunday, everyone.